In one secluded suburban area, located in a dark forest, terrible events occurred. In the past, an old man lived here whose soul was corrupted by a thirst for power and control. He often engaged in dark rituals and attracted people who craved power. He soon disappeared, but his ominous presence remained. One day, a group of friends decided to spend a weekend in this country house, unaware of its dark history. On the first night, strange sounds, ominous shadows and incomprehensible signs on the walls began. They tried to ignore it all, but the fear got deeper and deeper into them. The next morning, a group of friends woke up feeling strangely tired and feeling like something was watching them. They found that part of the house was shrouded in thick fog, and ghostly whispers were heard from the darkness. Fear and paranoia led to conflicts within the group. One friend claimed to have seen the ghost of an old man, while others dismissed his words as an illusion. It soon became clear that several members of the group were missing, and no one knew what had happened to them. A group of friends decided that they needed to find a solution to the problem. They understood that they could not leave the country house until they solved the mystery of his past and banished the sinister spirit. All the members of the group gathered together to discuss the next steps. Conflicts within the group only intensified. One of the friends, Alexei, insisted that the ghost was real and that they should urgently leave this place, regardless of the possible consequences. Another, Maria, claimed that all this was due to their strong imagination and stress, and that it was necessary to remain calm and reasonable. First they tried to use modern technology to solve the riddle. They installed cameras and recorded sounds, hoping to catch some evidence of supernatural phenomena. But the results were inconclusive, and it seemed that the equipment refused to work in this gloomy place. Then they turned to the locals to find out about past events and rumors about the dacha. Some talked about strange disappearances and the curse that lies on this house. Others told of a strange old man who once lived here and participated in dark rituals. In the vastness of the dark forest, the legendary story of a ghost hunter wanders among the locals. It is said that he is summoned by the sinister moon, and he is the executioner for all the sins that have been committed in this forest. Someone's evil deed awakens him from the dead and he carries his bloody revenge on his horses with flaming eyes. Only a few manage to survive to tell this story. We dive into the times when the gloomy dark forest was the abode of fear and secrets. A group of researchers decided to explore this mysterious piece of land and reveal its ancient secrets. Alexei, Maria and several other brave souls set off on their dangerous adventure. As sunset they reached a dangerous part of the forest, where a mysterious fog covered the ground. They began to record audio recordings to capture any strange sounds or whispers that might indicate the existence of a ghost hunter. But as soon as darkness enveloped the forest, they encountered something terrible. The shadows in the forest began to move, as if they were coming to life. Sounds previously unknown pierced their ears. Maria claimed to see ghostly images among the trees but Alexei considered it a figment of her imagination and stress. The evening coolness began to envelop them, and with each step the fear only intensified. They felt that someone or something was watching them, but there was no sign of a living soul anywhere. Their hearts were pounding as they moved deeper into the dark forest. Some time later, a group of friends found themselves in an ancient ruin known as the Forgotten Temple. Ghostly shadows hovered around her and ominous whispers were heard. They found runes on the walls that spoke of the right of resurrection of the ghost hunter. The hearts of the friends were frozen with fear when they realized that they would have to confront the ancient evil in order to survive. They decided that the only way to avoid the fate of the ghost hunter was to destroy the temple and end its revival. But when they began to destroy the temple, their hands cracked with blood, their hearts stopped with horror. The curse of the temple became their fate and they understood that their attempts could only lead to their own death. The further they advanced, the more terrifying their encounters with ghostly entities became. They felt that even though they were hunting the ghost hunter, he was actually hunting them. Each step became more dangerous, and they had to fight their own fears and nightmares. They couldn't figure out where reality ends and the nightmare begins. In the temple, time seemed to freeze, 
and they were traveling between the worlds of the living and the dead. They fought for every second, not wanting to become victims of this dark mystery. The hearts of the remaining friends were beating like crazy, their breathing was ragged with fear and adrenaline. Everything around them seemed distorted, and they could hardly distinguish reality from nightmare. Drenched in sweat, they stood in front of the destroyed temple and realized that the way back was cut off, and their fate was now connected with this cursed place. The ghost hunter reappeared in front of them, his essence was dark and eerie. He looked at them with his burning eyes, as if he penetrated into the very depths of their souls. The bravest of his friends decided to summon him and try to defeat him in order to free themselves from his bloody revenge. The whole group of friends was gripped by despair, their attempt to defeat the ghost hunter ended in failure. He turned out to be stronger than their expectations, and his gloomy essence paralyzed them with fear. They stood in front of him, unable to move or resist his power. Each of the friends was wounded and bleeding. The shadows around the ghost hunter seemed to devour the life forces of everyone who was near him. Every breath was agonizing, and the hearts beat weakly, almost disappearing. The ghost hunter looked at them, enjoying their suffering. His eyes sparkled with a sinister flame, and his smile was mocking and cold. Perhaps the remaining friends decided to share their experience of the ghost hunter story on the Mr. Scary Stories channel. They wanted to warn others that the world hides dark and terrible secrets, and that one should be careful 